Uh, before we go to questions and comments, I believe we have a point of order from the Honourable Member from Don Valley North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise on a point of order. I have informed the Prime Minister and the leadership of the Liberal Party Caucus that I will be sitting as an independent at the conclusion of these remarks. Mr. Speaker, I am in your hands as to what happens next. To all my colleagues in the Parliament, media reports today, quote, unverified and anonymous sources have attacked my reputation and called into questions my... I, I, I hate to interrupt, but I know the microphone, the phone was probably interrupting the translation service. I really apologize for that. What? Okay, thank you. You, you, may, you may back up a little bit if you, if you want to restart. You can start again, sorry. The Honourable Member for Don Valley North. Thank you, Speaker. I rise on a point of order. I have informed the Prime Minister and the leadership of the Liberal Party Caucus that I will be sitting as an independent at the conclusion of these remarks. Mr. Speaker, I'm in your hands as to what happens next. To all my colleagues in the Parliament, media reports today quoting unverified and anonymous sources have attacked my reputation and called into questions my loyalty to Canada. Let me be clear, what has been reported is false, and I will defend myself against these absolutely untrue claims. But let me assure you, as a parliamentarian and as a person, I have never, and I will never, and would never advocate or support the violation of the basic human rights of any Canadian, of anyone, anywhere, period. The accusations are false. My family came to Canada for freedom. I have had the privilege of being elected to this House, and I believe I have served honorably and pledged to continue to serve honorably and fulfill my oath of office. I will continue to serve the residents of Don Valley North as an independent member of this House. I am taking this extraordinary step because to sitting to sitting the government caucus is a privilege, and my presence there may be seen by some as a conflict of duty, and the wrong place to be as an independent investigation pursues the facts in this matter. I will be sitting as an independent so that business of government, and indeed the business of parliament, is not interrupted as I work to clear my name and the truth is presented to Parliament and to Canadian people. I am a proud Liberal, and I am proud of the work our government does day in and day out to serve the people of Canada. I also don't want to distract from that important work. Before concluding, I want to assure Mr. Michael Spavert and Mr. Michael Covert and their families that I did nothing to cause them any harm. Like everyone in this house, I worked hard and advocated for their interest as a parliamentarian. The allegations made against me are as false as the ones made against you. To my constituents, I will continue to work on your behalf as your member of parliament. To my staff, I thank you. I know the days ahead will be difficult, but I will be there to support you as we continue to serve the people of Damali North. To my family, and in particular, my parents, who brought us here to Canada. To my wife, Sophie, and my kids, I love you. I thank you for all the support and love you give me. The truth will protect us. Our honor and our family will get through this together. Sorry about that. Thank you, Speaker. 